Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. So we have switched back to the Moonlight household, and I've made a few upgrades to the, the resort here. So I used the blueprint mode to add a new pool area because <laughs> our guests were wanting a pool so badly, I decided, well, let's finally cave in and add it because when I switched back to the Moonlight household, I found that while we were playing as the pirates, the game for some reason added cars to their inventory, so I was able to sell those and I made a ton of simoleons. So I was able to put in this blueprint which cost somewhere around 10k. So uh, there's a pool slide here, which is great because we haven't tried that out yet. So I'll have Beth use that here. So I had to move everything else a little bit and I changed the food quality of the food stand to high. And, oh wait, before you slide, we'll have you clean that trash up. And also, oddly enough, uh, the, s yeah, the front desk employee was changed to another sim f for some odd reason while we were gone. But I changed his uniform off camera to make it just like the sim that was working there before. So, I'm not sure why that is. It's so weird how... EA kind of built this game to center around only one household and assume that you'll never switch because that's not really my playing style and a lot of other players don't play with a single household the entire time anyway so I don't know it's kind of a weird thing so yay pool slides <laughs> and it's nice how you can also turn on the water too because I don't remember the Sims 2 having that with their pool slide and yeah, also from a result of switching the household, she's lost her opportunity to fight the shark to unlock the refuge islands. I'm not really sure how that's going to work because unless I maybe download a mod that increases the chance of a shark attack, we'll never be able to complete that opportunity. Because I'm not wanting to stick with one family for too long. I want to play with the family for two parts and then switch to the other one, play them for two parts and then switch back. So. It's going to be difficult to unlock all these islands since most of them are tied to opportunities. And there's also a glitch where for some reason uh, Noel's lifeguard, or not lifeguard, uh, lives saved count reset to zero. I'm not sure if the game will still internally remember how many lives he's saved because there's one of the Uncharted Islands we need to unlock by saving the lives of 34 different sims. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. I guess if things really go badly and it's almost time for like into the future to come out and I still haven't unlocked all the islands then I'll probably just have to cheat and unlock all of them and then show each island one by one because it's yeah it's just not working out so far other than the one that we unlocked just by boating up to it uh, okay let's see Noel and Allison what are you doing just talking, asking about a TV show. Put those waffles back. So it is Noel's day off, so we'll have him go to the gym, or the guy, and do some workouts so that he, he can get promoted even on his day off. Oh, what's he listening to? Oh, he's listening to the fishing tab cast. Not sure if he really needs it, but I guess it would be good for maybe later on when we want to show off that really cool fishing spot at the top of the waterfalls. So I'll have him work out there. Don't break a sweat. And let's see. Oh, we can actually start doing some diving opportunities with her, maybe. Uh, hold on. Let's find the science lab here. And there's our private island over there, and there's the science lab for diving work. She's happy from using her smartphone. That's nice, I guess. Let's go on the slide again, because that was cool. Oh yeah, and I did add more buffet tables since food is like the primary complaint with this one, so... I rearranged them a little bit. I put a sushi table over here. 
It's actually perfect quality. Or one of them was perfect. That's good. And then I put the kids buffet over here. And I added a dinner buffet table since we were missing that one. What? That's weird. She got routing failures. Hmm. Oh, you know what's weird? I don't think I actually said sim logic in the last part. Which is kind of odd because that seems to be like something that happens every single part there is to my let's play. So there's the uh, mixologist working at the pool bar there. So let's dive in. Or rather, slide in. So yeah, this is Beth's uh, alternate swimsuit, which makes a bit more sense when swimming in the pools. And then we can use the other one when we have her go windsurfing. Haha. Uh, <laughs> that was cool. Let's help ourselves to a drink here. Sort of classy glassy. Or what are the other ones? Oh, okay, there's the late night ones. Oh, let's have the starry sea one. Maybe that one. Make more bit sense. Make more bit sense? Make more sense. Man, I can't talk today. Oh, great, the career script errors are coming Starpa, back. Shoo -snack. Uh, <laughs> Stan went through the glass. Oh, yeah, I don't remember if I pointed this out, but the Moonlight Sisters both have a moon tattoo on their back to symbolize that they're part of the Moonlight family. There's like purple fire coming from that drink. Or at least there was for a second, but it looked like it was pretty bad quality. Just kind of weird. And oh, she's stuffed. And no extra moodlets or anything like that, which is unfortunate. Have you snorkel in your own pool? Oh yeah, so one thing I forgot to point out is that but you do have to uh, chlorinate your pool or else Sims will complain about that. So uh, I did that just before I started this part, so that's why it's zero upkeep right now. And there she goes, swimming around. Snorkeling. Oh, well that didn't last too long. Um, I'm not sure why she didn't... Oh, her smartphone's broken. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Wait, so where is she now? You're still at home. Why is she still at home? I thought I told you to go check for diving work. Do it this time. We'll follow you just to make sure you actually do it. I remember I had to do that all the time in World Adventures where my sim would go to ask for clues from other sims or something like that. But then for some reason they'd just not do it and then they'd just be talking casually to that sim and it's like... Um, I told you to do something, but you're not doing it. You're doing something completely different, almost. Go down the ladder. Yay, ladders. I'm so glad they added those. Take a look at the beautiful lighting. There's her pink aqua sled. Mm. Wee. Oh, don't crash into her. I don't think that's gonna happen anyways. Oh. Whoa. Got the jitters. Whoa. <laughs> Seriously, whenever I see that happen, it, it makes me think it'd be worthy of like a dubstep replay. But I'll spare you guys from that because that would probably be really painful. I don't know, like, dubstep's not my favorite genre, but I don't really, like, cover my ears when I hear it either. I don't find it to be that terrible except for the ones that are, like, extremely gritty with all the drops and tempo and all that stuff. But most dubstep is okay to me. But I'm more of like an indie rock guy. Alright, let's see what opportunity she gets. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the exact same one that we got with Talbot in the last part. Yeah, pretty much.
Um, well, I mean, we can still do it, even though we can't go to the Mermaid Grotto, we can still explore caves in the other diving spot. Let's explore two of the caves. Okay. Let's do that right away then. See, this is Pearl's Deep because we can't go there. It's the most advanced diving spot. So let's go to that one since it's nearest. At least it appears to be. Yep, it's nearest. Oh, also at some point we should try just staying at a resort instead of running one and see how that perspective is like. What? I told you to not break a sweat. Okay then, that's weird. Well, he's getting close to getting a promotion, which is nice. Beach protector. Hmm, I don't actually remember if that happened on camera or not. So he's quite a reputable lifeguard, rarely sleep on the job, never distracted by all the good-looking folks on the beach, unless they're currently dying. And I really gotta give credit to the writers of the descriptions, because they really keep the game more sim-like and just humorous in general. Alright, and under the water we go. Um, it's okay, now we are underwater. Okay. There's a cave in every diving spot, isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's one in here. There. Okay. And let's explore. Okay, she also has five hours. Okay, that was strange. I, was, I almost thought... I just missed the little cursor thing in case it it was um, still an opportunity for Beth, but nope. Wait, did the caves just... Uh-oh. It might have just stopped working. Or maybe they do disappear when Sims are about to go in. Because I'm really hoping it doesn't reset her. Oh well, at least we're enjoying the pretty colors for now. I just keep closer to it, the bottom there. Okay, there's bubbles coming out of it, so it should be working. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm not sure what actually caused the caves to stop working the first time around. Hopefully we'll get a better idea of what happened with that if it happens again. Oh, okay, Noel's fatigued playing an online social game. Let's have you listen to a tabcast, maybe. Improve the charisma. Because that also goes towards his promotions. Found an air pocket. Let's see, is there anything to pick up, maybe? Do, do, do. Uh, there's some kelp. Oh, did the treasure chest close again? Okay, cool. Then we can get some stuff out of there again and make some more simoleons. An expensive, or not expensive, an expansive patch of bioluminescent lichen reminded Allison that she should really clean out her fridge. That's pretty interesting. Uh, whoa! Hello, Alfonso Alto. <laughs> yeah, there seems to be Altos in pretty much every neighborhood. So I know there definitely are ones in Sunset Valley and at least one other neighborhood I can't really remember right now. Uh, hmm. Seems to be rather lifeless down here. I don't see any fish or sharks. Or anything other than that sim. I'll just tilt the camera this way. Hmm. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of anything. Oh, she just came out of the cave. She found a cowrie shell. Okay. That was really fun. Maybe talking to fish wouldn't be such a lame superpower. Oh, yeah, that. I went over that in the previous part. Or not the previous part, but a previous part about how that may be a reference to Aquaman. 
So she's gonna open a treasure chest. And she should really clean out her fridge, okay. Oh, maybe we'll take a few more pictures as well. So let's look at this move that suckered! Ow, ow, ow. Those sucker marks sting from Cave Monster. What, the Cave Monster is just called a sucker? Okay then, that's kind of strange. Uh, I guess we don't really need to watch her open the treasure chest, but it looks like her diving skill is almost going to level up. Okay, Beth, what's up with you? Just relaxing on the towel. Getting chilly. Oh, wow, it's only 8 degrees in the middle of summer. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I did forget to mention in the last part that I turned off rain because I actually tried to record the previous part once and then there was a huge thunder slash hailstorm that got so noisy that it was kind of overpowering my voice. So I just decided, well, it's raining way too much in this Let's Play anyway, so I have turned off rain for the time being, although I left hail on just because it could provide some comedic value anyways. She's gonna play in the ocean. Is she gonna go to the rocks? I guess not. No, she's gonna have routing failures instead. That's sim logic for you. So there, just in case I forget to say it again in this episode, I've said it now. So she's gonna relax, and then another sim's gonna go up there. Probably to the pool bar. Good, she's leveled up in her scuba diving skill. I think she needs to go up one more level to go to the mermaid grotto. Um, she's gonna talk about fish with some random sim. Let's have her go to the other scuba diving spot. And then maybe we can actually complete this opportunity in one part. Uh, Rocky Reef. And if she's not fully depressurized before we get there, then we can just have her snorkel a bit. What? What's this? Oh, brain freeze. What was that? Oh, he ate the brain freeze a la mode, and he's human. There we go, there's the genuine sim logic. <laughs> the genuine sim logic statement of the part, because that really doesn't make sense. Uh, three hours. Um, let's have him listen to Charisma some more. Actually, I'm not sure if the tablet ties in with the profession because I'm not sure if that's cross-compatible. So maybe we'll just have him go up to a mirror and do it instead. Um, but yeah, if you know from experience, if the tablet... Uh, I'm using the tablet to improve charisma with it and it improves the lifeguard career performance. If it does, let me know in the comment section below. Because that would be really good to know, actually, because I know that some things are kind of like cross-compatible slash integrated with each other and some things aren't. So, yeah, it's kind of weird sometimes. Oh, I've directed him to the wrong washroom, I think. Okay, go in there. His phone is ringing, but I really don't care right now. What the? He's in the sink, I think. Barzebni, well... Yeah. I really hope The Sims 4 has some better collision detection because this is just sad. That's really weird. I've seen that sink used in many lots and I don't remember that being a problem. With Sims clipping through it while using mirrors. He wants to be a rebel. Yeah, I don't know. If he becomes a rebel at some point by cousins, that'd be great, but I'm not gonna focus on the social groups. Uh, I'm gonna scuba dive. 
Gotta do this quickly since so she's hungry. Oh, maybe it'll say that she's too hungry to explore the caves. Okay, let's find the cave over there. And there's some tentacles flailing about. So she can do it, which is nice. And she got a warm wetsuit. Oh, a mermaid! Merman! Yes! Yes, 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 Salty Seaworth. Ah, oh, finally, we've we've got to socialize with this mermaid. Oh, man, this has been a long time coming. A really long time coming. So we have to do this. You know what? Um, wait, did I leave it on? Yeah, we're just going to raise her needs so that this thing doesn't get interrupted because we, we need to talk to this merman. I don't just want to talk to this merman. We need to do it. Wait, are you kidding me? Did he just disappear? Where is he? It's so dark, I can't see him. Salty Seaworth, I will find you. I have mods to track you down. Okay, there. <laughs> love day is coming up. Hmm, actually it'd be interesting if we had her fall in love with the merman. You could do that. Maybe try for a mer baby. And have him be our date on love day. That would work out pretty well. Oh, they're compatible. That's cool. Okay, so let's do this about diving and other cool mermaid related things. So, I believe the interaction we have to do to get the special mermatic help is to talk about fish parts, but we need to build up our relationship with him first. <laughs> I love how they have different voice clips for talking underwater. I love those little sorts of details. Let's get in a bit closer here. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool, just seeing through the kelp. Although we look kind of like a stalker for doing this sort of angle, but I don't know. It's kind of nice, in my opinion. Oh, aren't fish awesome? Yeah, especially green fish. Like, specifically colored green fish. I love them the best. What's his reply? It's like, oh yeah, that's cool, but I'm not even going to have a speech bubble for that because it's not really worth it. Oh, I love shells. Shells are awesome. Collected a few earlier. Worth a lot of dough. She almost sounds like she's like desperate or something. Okay, actually we should have in the relationship panel here. Okay. Please talk about sharks, seashells. Just talk more about stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty scared of sharks, it looks like. And <laughs> Salty is like, wow, this Allison is a weirdo. Let's, let's do an over the shoulder shot of him from his perspective. Oops. Haha. Yeah. <laughs> doing little gestures. What did she just do like the um like the death threat sort of thing where it's like a knife across the throat? That's what it looked like. I don't know. I guess she was saying like, don't fight a shark or else you'll end up dead or something like that. Let's check on our other sims just to make sure they're doing okay. Okay, she is already sleeping and she needs to socialize soon because she got that lonely mood lit and let's just have you go home. Oops. Ah, I didn't mean to actually move the camera over to him. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if we can try and already invite him on land so he can do more socials rather than talking about the same stuff over and over again. Ah! Oh, it's the Overwatch making it lag. Ah, come on. I like how there's somehow like a bit of drop shadow added to the to the little menu choices. Okay, let's invite and land. It's probably not gonna work, but you can at least now. Like, this is going to be really repetitive, just using the same interactions over and over again. You can at least speed it up, I guess. Oh shoot, she has to return to the surface soon. Okay, just go back to the surface. Oh, actually, we can probably invite him out somewhere in the next part. Alright, so she's going home on her aqua sled. So, yeah, that's good. Something really nice came out of this part. We finally socialized with a merman, which is great. That took way too long, but better late than never, I guess. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Follow me at Iron Seagull on Twitter for the latest updates about this Let's Play and other gaming related stuff. And other social networks too in the description below. And yeah, have a good day guys. I'll see you in the next part. Well, as long as Allison doesn't hit land and wipe out.